Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that recent Friday Night Funkin' mod. Um, I know that the last mod I made was, uh, March 16th, and, uh, now it's May 26th, as the time I'm recording this. Uh, hopefully this will be uploaded today, unless something happens. Yeah, last time I went and uploaded a Friday Night Funkin' mod, it was... March 16th, that's two months from now, and I feel really bad. But the reason for that is because I've been uh, very busy with commissions and stuff. Um, and you know, I'm gonna explain a couple of things right now, like... For one, uh, this, this part is the Q&A part. I went and put a little, hey, ask me questions earlier today. Um, it was supposed to be related to Friday Night Funkin', and not really just random questions. Uh, I didn't make that very clear on Twitter, so I'm going to answer Friday Night Funkin' questions. I don't know if I can get to everyone's question, but I'll try my best. So first thing I'm going to talk about is a lot of questions that I get are, how do I install the mod? Well, you see, <laughs> here in this description, something that most people generally do not notice is uh, where you can get the mod. Now, first of all, you need to have a download of the game. So, you download here. Oh look, timed exclusive. So, you download here. Once you get the download, then you can go over to the Google Drive folder that I have presented for you all. Here is the Google Drive with every single mod I've made so far. It's like your life flashing before your eyes, you know? Alright, so, in terms of this, all you really have to do is, for example, you want a boyfriend car. So I'm gonna click on this, click this thing, where it says download. Wow. You open the ping. Wow, look, it's the whole sprite sheet for boyfriend car. Alright, so you're gonna want to go to where your Friday Night Funkin' download is. As you can see, I have many. <laughs> And here you have boyfriend car. So I'm just gonna open up two files because it's easier for me if I have one on the side and one doing the other thing. So I'm gonna go into Funkin' file. I'm just gonna click Sonic Mods. That's where I usually have my stuff. And then you go to Assets, Images, and you just put it down here. So you're gonna see this thing saying, um, Replace the file in the destination, and so what this happens is you're replacing the sprite sheet. And I know a lot of people um, <laughs> do their mods differently now. Um, the way I learned how to do mods was from a different video, more or less like a video I stumbled upon. I forget the the person's username, but it's basically how I found out about Friday Night Funkin'. They made a whole video about it. I was curious, I clicked it. They showed how to make mods, and I'm like, oh cool, so you could just draw and put it in. And that's how I was doing mods. So then you have that complete, and here it is, replacing the boyfriend car model thing right there. And it's that easy. It really is. If you're on mobile, I'm sorry, I cannot help you. <laughs> There's someone out there who might be able to help you. Um, but the thing is, I know a lot of people have also been asking me to put uh, my mods on Game Banana. So the thing is, I don't know how to do that because I don't really have an Adobe program. The way that I make my mods is I first open up a... Well, you can kind of use whatever you want, but I usually use Paint Tool Sci. Uh, you could also use Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop if you want really anything because all you're really doing is drawing the image on the file. Alright, so here we have the whole boyfriend file and again, people are probably going to kill me <laughs> when, when you find out how these mods are made. But basically what I do is I just kind of draw over each one, each file. Um, Telepin wire. So, 
I just draw over each file and then I go and make separate layers. Okay, so here's the Amy file. Uh, I'll just show you really quick. So basically how I animate everything is I have each thing on a separate layer. So head is one layer, leg, leg, body and arms. So in terms of animating, what I use is Live 2D. It's really good for me personally because I'm able to do a lot of tweening animations and that's what Friday Night Funkin' mostly is, a lot of tweening kind of animations. Um, with some regular, you know, hand-drawn 2D animations and such. So, you can use any kind of animation program you like as whatever you're comfortable with, really. Um, and the way that I sync things up, and again, people who use Adobe, I don't know, I don't, I don't use Adobe. I know a lot of people use Adobe to make their own Friday Night Funkin' kind of animations, but basically what I have is, uh, you have all these layers, and I take each one individually, so, you know, I'll have one, copy it, and I'll put it over this one, and I'll pile them on top of each other, copy, paste, and I will make the background a little transparent, and I'll put it right over here, slightly adjust it, and as you can see, all right, as you can see, now the frames are exactly on each other, you know? Being an artist is a pain. So, as you can see, the frames are exactly on each other, and then what I do is I take Amy and I sync up everything like that. Um, it's a long and tedious process. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way out there, but if you're wondering why um, these mods take so long for you to make, it's because of that, especially when the girlfriend or boyfriend get new sprites and I gotta start all the way from square one again. If you're wondering why those are missing, it's... it's uh, don't ask. Don't ask why those are missing. Okay. But, yeah, that's basically how I make Friday Night Fungin mods. I hope that helps. I hope you now know how to install it. Um, Alright, so, next question. Okay, but this question... Why did you stop making video, like, a long time? You take a break, is that right, QDT cat? Yes. So I have been feeling a lot of burnout just due to the last Christmas update. You know, remaking a bunch of sprites for the boyfriend, remaking a bunch of sprites for Amy, making the sprites for Cosmo and Tails, you know, editing the background, all that kind of stuff. And then after, with the Halloween... The, the spooky theme with Sonic EXE and Tails Doll. That one was not as bad, but with how many frames Tails Doll had, or well, more or less, how many frames the Lemon Demon had, it took a real toll on me just because there were so many frames just to go and get synced up to each other, to the point where I just got really tired. And then after, if you guys may or may not know this but you know obviously i haven't really taken a break from my channel it was just a a break from doing friday night funkin mods you know because i was still animating on my channel you know i wanted to do other things you know this channel isn't just about friday night funkin i like making animations i like streaming with my friends i like doing little drawings all that kind of stuff anything art related i like doing on the channel that's just how i am um, so, you know, after being so burnt out from such a heavy project, week six I knew it would take a toll on me just because I'd have to make new mo new sprites for Sonic, new sprites for Amy, new sprites for Metal Sonic, um, obviously, and then having him turn into Neo Metal Sonic, that was a lot of fun, you know, the badniks in the background, that was also pretty fun to make. And, you know, a little animation, all that kind of stuff. It, it's a lot. And, um, as of right at this point, I haven't really made a death screen for Sonic dying, you know, in case you lose. You know, it's still 
the boyfriend sprite at this point in time. However, I do plan to do that later. I just want to get this finished and get it done and, you know, just kind of get it out there. So, <laughs> I've had too many people ask me, where is week six? Where is week six? And I was just like, I gotta get this done. So, I had to put my work on hold. Um, just so I can finish this because, you know, I, again, I was being very, very busy with work. Um, work is the number one reason as to why I can't upload as often and why I had a bit of a break and stuff like that. And streaming is just a lot easier, you know? Friday Night Funkin', in terms of this mod, week six, I was working on that one since May. Amy sprites alone, just to do the animation of the legs going back and forth, took me about a week, about a week, um, just to do that. Obviously, like, I wasn't spending the whole, whole day on it, but I spent like a couple hours, uh, just to finish that. And, you know, doing Sonic sprites as well, that one took about two days like two full days um well, maybe not two full days but like two and a half kind of days and the rest of everything took three full days i literally would wake up work on it go to sleep wake up work on it again especially with um neo metal sonic that one was a pain his sprite sheet was finished. Um, there's a couple of things I had to cut out from there, unfortunately, just because of how the spirit's face was layered. So basically the sprite sheet for spirit was very interesting in terms of normally with the Friday Night Funkin' sprite sheet, you can tell which is the first frame, the second frame, the third frame, but with the spirit sprite sheet, it was very hard to tell. Some things would look like it would be in a 1, 2, 3, 4 kind of sequence, but there are a hundred sprites in there. 100 sprites. And I had to edit all of them so they can be properly in tune with each other so it's not just like jumping around the page the whole time. Uh, that was a pain in my butt. It took me an entire day. I'm not joking. I woke up at 12. I go to bed very late, okay? I woke up at 12, and then I went to bed at 3 a.m., and I finally finished editing it. Editing it. That may sound insane, but that's how much dedication I have. You guys better be thankful. I don't want to hear no one crying, okay? It was a lot of work. It was a lot of pain and suffering. <laughs> so, on to the next question. Alright, um, what is the most difficult part of making content on YouTube? Uh, the most difficult part of making content is when you're a content creator and you have too many ideas you want to do but not enough time to do it because you have to also do work, like a job, and uh, it's hard to do your passion and stuff when you have to have uh, living expenses. If you had to change one thing in your F and F Sonic mod, what would you change? P.S. Your artwork is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Spider Mario. Um, so something I would love to change is I would love to go back and just come up with more unique poses, I guess. Um, the poses I came up with, I wanted to try and emulate the style of Friday Night Funkin' as much as I could. So, obviously, I went and gave Sonic a lot of poses similar to the main character. Um, also, there's a sprite limit, so if, for example... Now, again, people who are amazing with coding, who have spent their time, you know, they have the whole file there, they can, they can edit and do coding and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, they found ways to where they can make your field even larger. For me... What the most difficult thing about it was because I'm working directly on top of the sprite sheet and stuff, it's really hard to get like to know if there's enough space for everything, to know if you're making things too small, too big, because there's nothing worse than having Sonic's quill be cut out on the other side 
and then he shows up in a different frame. You have to be so careful about that. Um, yeah, I, I would say that would be uh, one thing I could change. Make the sprite box bigger. Then I can have more freedom to work around and do whatever I want. So Rambuski asks, When an update drops for week 7, will you make a reskin for that one or are you done after week 6? So the thing is, um, in terms of week 7, I, I think week 7 might be my last Friday Night Funkin' mod. Uh, whenever that comes out. You know, if you go onto the website right now, a lot of people have been asking me, where is week 7, where is week 7? Um, here's the thing. It's not, it's not released yet. It has not been released <laughs> at the time of me recording this. Right now, week 7 is currently a Newgrounds exclusive. Some of you might not know this, because a lot of people obviously find week 7, you know, they somehow are able to get the files just from it being on Newgrounds, and then they could post onto other sites, and you know, there's probably people who already have the week 7 files, even though it hasn't really been officially released. So, I like doing things the official way, so I'm, I'm waiting. Patiently. Um, I know some people are gonna ask me now, who will you put in week 7? I'm not saying, uh, <laughs> it's always gonna be a surprise. It's always gonna be a surprise. Um, and I have a reason for that. Uh, but I'll answer, I'll, I'll get back to that question after. Um, so, with week 7, I'm thinking that it might be my last mod, kind of. I might go back and make different mods, like I might do Blaze and Silver over Boyfriend and Girlfriend or stuff like that. I know a lot of people have been questing Sally over Girlfriend, but I think there's there's another user who is currently making that and it looks really nice. And the thing is, um, when it comes to modding and stuff, I don't want to do what other people have already done, you know? I want to do something that... It, like in my style that I can do and well, basically like if someone like for example a lot of people uh, for the shadow mod I did a lot of people asked hey why didn't you include shadows gun and the reason I didn't include his gun was because someone else already had a mod where it included his gun personally you know I don't want to copy other people's mods I want to do something more unique um, so, when it comes to, like, Sonic Friday Night Funkin' mods, I try my best to just avoid them in general, because the moment, like, for example, if I have plans to make a mod, and, you know, I want to do said project, you know, like, right now, let's say, you know, I have, I have Metal Sonic replacing Week 6, um, but then I see someone else make Metal Sonic replace on Week 6, and it's already you know, done, and mine is still in the process of not yet being complete, then I'll look at that and I'll think to myself, well, now I should try and change my idea and make it something different, just so it can give a different variety of playstyles for people. Um, you know, and that's really the hardest thing, because the thing is, uh, like, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing something that someone else has already done. Um, if that makes any sense. Now, deliberately copying or tracing or plagiarism, like, okay, that's wrong, don't do that. However, if, for example, someone makes a picture of Sonic holding a cake, and you think to yourself, oh, wow, that's really cool, I like to draw Sonic holding a cake too, but, you know, you put your own spin to it, you put your own variety, you know, it's different. Both pieces are different in their own way. And that's completely fine. That's completely okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's cool. You know, it's really awesome having different kinds of mods and assets and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, for me at least, I like to try and do an idea. If I have an idea and I really like it, I want to try and do it as fast as I can. Just because I don't want to seem like I'm... You know, like, I'm just copying someone else's homework. You know, I don't want to copy someone else's homework. I want to also imply my own ideas and stuff um, and do it in my own unique style. 
Oh yeah, the other thing about... So with week 7 coming out, and also with the Kickstarter for Friday Night Funkin', what I want to do is... They... So they've reached a lot of stretch goals, basically all the important stretch goals have been reached, and on there, they also had it to where they want modding to be easier for creators for the full... A game. <laughs> for, for the full game. Uh, for modding to be easier, charting and music, all that kind of stuff. I think that's super cool. And, uh, you know, if they come out with other characters and other things, because uh, I know they are going to be updating the Newgrounds version, which means they'll be giving like the free version. Um, personally, I want to wait until I own the game because I feel like it'd be so much easier for me to just work directly on the game compared to the method I'm doing right now. And I'm not too sure exactly what kind of method they have planned for the future. Whatever it is, I really hope it makes making these mods a lot easier, because if it's a lot easier to make these mods, then 100% I'm just gonna go with that routine. But I can't- I don't know if I'm gonna make anything past week 7 yet. I just gotta wait and see. There's only so many Sonic characters. I know I can go and be reaching in the bag and pull out other characters that are lesser known, but you know, I'd rather do characters that I'm more interested in and have more knowledge of rather than characters who I personally am not too interested or too fond of. All right, next question. Oh boy, so Johnny says, so when the full A game comes out, are you gonna mod all of that too? Maybe. Maybe, possibly. I'm not too sure yet, um, only because I'm not- I don't know if I want to put that much- it's a, it's a lot of work. And I'm only one person. So maybe. Maybe. If I ever stop- I don't want to say I'm gonna stop, because there's still certain things I would like to do, and maybe I might get the motivation for it later on, but again, we'll see. Since the last release of your Sonic mod, a few mods have taken the spotlight with custom songs, backgrounds, etc. If you continue your version of the Sonic mod, what are some ideas you have to keep it standing f out from the rest? Um, honestly, I don't think I have any ideas. <laughs> um, I, when it comes to custom songs, I know there's a lot of people who will take my mod and give it its own custom song and its own custom chart and their own custom backgrounds, and I'm totally cool with that, you know? If you want to go and you can take a mod and just kind of make your own custom chart, your own custom music, like, whatever. I'm totally cool with that. I think it's really awesome, you know? The mod is, the mod's reason for being made was because I just wanted to share something that was fun for me, and I wanted other people to have fun with it too. That was really it. And I know originally I wanted to mod everything in Friday Night Funkin', uh, but I don't know if that's possible because I am lazy and I'm, well, I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just really burnt out. Um, you know, like you have a passion for something that's super strong and then it just kind of dwindles down when you've done it too much. That's why I've took such a long break from making this one. Um, I know week seven is going to kill me. There's so much movement and animation. There's a lot of effort. And I'm happy there's a lot of effort. I'm happy. But that means I have to put a lot of effort. And it hurts. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> and, you know, I just do these for fun. And that's all. Um, when it comes to custom songs, if I personally could, I would love to hire someone to make music. Um, however, like, make cool remixes and things like that. I would love that. It'd be super cool. However, um... I don't, ha I don't have the money for it, if that says anything. Because it, it's expensive, you know? Like, I don't know if, if anyone wants to do it for free, then, you know, they're there. They're more than they're more than welcome to be done for free, and you can go all out if you want. Um, I personally don't mind. However, for me personally, if I want to make, like, a full-on mod where I customize everything, originally that was my goal. Now I'm super burnt out, I don't think I can do that anymore. Um, unless somehow I get some kind of fiery passion to, to bring it back. But knowing me, I, I don't think I'll be able to. Um, so in terms of making it stand out from the rest of the crowd, I don't think I'll be able to fill those shoes. Um, 
You know, there's a lot of talented people out there. There's a lot of people coming together. You know, you got your artists, your music creators, your programmers, you know, all of them like teaming up together, making super cool mods and stuff. And I think that's awesome. I think that's great. I, I don't I don't have that kind of team. <laughs> I don't have that kind of team. Right, so in terms of keeping my mods standing out from the rest, I honestly don't really have any plans. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do, just enjoying it. Um, now, as much I would love to add a story and all those kinds of things, but I don't really program. Um, and I, I know a couple of people have approached me asking to, you know, kind of do a whole team thing with me. However, the only reason I said no is because then I'd feel bad if people are counting on me to get this kind of stuff done, you know? Like, if everyone else is passionate and one person isn't it, and I'd just rather do a project where I know the people, you know? Any plans for week 7 or modded characters? Also, are you fine with slight changes to your characters for mods such as Side B or Neo? Um... So, week 7, I already have all the characters chosen. I know exactly what I plan to do. Um, but I'm not gonna say it. I, it. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. So, I know a lot of people always ask, like, Hey, what's this mod gonna be? What's this mod gonna be? And I am always going to repeat myself. It's a surprise. <laughs> You'll find out when you find out. And so the reason why I keep it a surprise is because sometimes people get angry with me when I make a decision and they don't like that decision. You know, they want a certain character to fill this role. I don't put that character in. And then that said person gets upset, and I'm sitting here like, well, I'm the one who gets to control who's in and who's out for the mod. So, sorry you didn't get the character you wanted. Maybe someone else will put it in later. Maybe. You know, just, just a thought. Maybe. Um... And so in terms of stuff like a side B or Neo, well the thing is, uh, I, I'm looking I'm looking at some of you people out there. I know some of you people. I know some of you people have been recoloring these mods. I've seen it. I've seen people recolor them. And I don't know how to respond to it. I don't really support recoloring. However, I understand that people are doing it just because they really enjoy the mods and they really want to see their own characters in it. So it's like, okay, sure, just credit me and we're cool. But seriously, don't recolor other people's art. I don't think other people will respond as positively to this kind of stuff. Um, but just, just give credit, just give credit and we're cool. That's fine, you know? Um, in terms of the side B or Neo thing, sure, go ahead. If anyone wants to do it, go right ahead. Uh, just please credit. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Okay, um, and so a couple of questions that I get a lot, but aren't currently featured. Uh, okay, so... Will you make mods over characters like Witty? Um... That one, I've gotten a couple of people asking if I would make a mod over Witty or other characters that also exist, and the answer is no. I don't plan to make mods over other people's mods. The only mods I plan to make are over Friday Night Funkin', you know, stuff. Or, well, the only mods I plan to make are over the existing official cast of Friday Night Funkin'. I don't want to touch anyone else's mods. I'm Even though those mods have custom songs and stuff like that, they're not official characters to the game. You know, they're fan characters, and they're really cool fan characters, really well thought out. You know, wonderful music that was put to them, really nice charts and stuff. And I'm gonna- I don't want to touch it. I want to leave it as that's their stuff, and that's it. You know, um, I don't know if they're comfortable with that kind of thing, 
but personally to me I don't want to go and put a mod over a mod that they've worked a lot of time into um, I'd rather just keep it with the original cast just because I know the creators of Friday Night Funk Friday Night Funkin love that kind of stuff like they they appreciate it they support it and I'm like hey cool that's fine you know they they love enjoying people making mods for their games so much so that they're going to release a whole uh, in-game mod you know they're trying to make mods as easy for people as they can because they enjoy seeing the creations people make and that's great um, so I'm just gonna stick to doing that I'm not going to touch anyone else's mod um, you know, I'm going to respect it as that's their own thing, and this is my own thing, and that's it. Uh, another question, and this will be the last question I answer, is... Will you ever put your character into the game? So, uh, obviously, maybe you may not be seeing this right now, but, um, I... Uh, you know, my, my Sonic character, um, Daniela the Cat, I don't know. Like, a part of me wants to, but a part of me doesn't know if I should. You guys tell me what you're into. Tell me, like, do you want me to add my character to the game? Yes or no? Um, if a lot, a lot of people request me to go and put my character in the game, then sure. And also let me know if you would rather have her being, taking uh, the girlfriend's position, just being Amy taking the boyfriend's position, or being a character you converse. I'm honestly open to all of them. Uh, personally though, if I could choose, I would probably pick either a versus character or girlfriend. I don't want to do it over boyfriend because there's too much work. <laughs> uh, but if it's requested of me enough, then maybe I'll think about doing it. Yeah, those are, those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. I know there was a lot of other questions. Um, if you asked a question that wasn't related to Friday Night Funkin', I'm really sorry. I don't have time to answer that one right now. Maybe I'll make another Q&A, and then I'll be able to answer all those other questions. Or if anyone else wants to ask any more questions for a Q&A later, then I'll... Down below, just ask down below. All that kind of jazz and stuff. But yeah, if you enjoy the video, you enjoyed the mod, consider liking and subscribing and all that kind of stuff. You help support the channel, yada yada yada. Um, hope to see you next time on another video that I make. I don't know what kind of video it'll be, but it'll be a video. Bye. <laughs>